Hello everybody, welcome to Monday Morning Must Knows. My name is Merlin Rothfeld and you probably noticed I've got a pretty big smile out there today. Why is that? Well, it's because of last week's trading. Man, you had the Fed cut by 50 basis points. And as you know, I was thinking 25 all along. Been thinking that all year that the September meeting would be 25 basis points. Came out at 50? Man, is that a bad sign for the markets ahead or just juicing that economy going into the election? Either way, the markets rejoiced all-time highs for the S&P. We saw great moves up in the NASDAQ, the Russell. Just a great week for trading. Now, will this week be the same? I cannot tell you, but I do know that there are some announcements coming out. Really, we have 79 companies reporting earnings to kick things off, so that's how I'm going to begin right there. We have on Monday, nothing. On Tuesday, you've got AutoZone, Cintas, and KB Homes. Wednesday brings you Micron Technologies, BlackBerry, and Paychex. And on Thursday, Costco, Accenture, CarMax, and Jabal Circuit. So not a lot of huge names, but there might be a couple of those in your portfolio, particularly Costco, all eyes on the big box retailer. Now we shift our focus to services and manufacturing around the world, not just the United States this time, because we have announcements starting off over in Europe. We begin our Monday session with an announcement from the European Union that's going to be in France at 3.15 a.m. Eastern Time, followed up by Germany at 3.30. There's the whole EU at 4 a.m. And then you have England at 4.30 a.m. And finally, at 9.45 a.m. Eastern Time, we have the United States. Now, as Jerome Powell mentioned at the press conference on Wednesday, much more data dependent. And I think more data points are going to be absorbed to help them anticipate what their end of year target is going to be with regards to interest rates, policy, and much, much more. So this data here could be very important, particularly if you're trading the euro, the British pound, or the US dollar. Now, speaking of international currencies and you Forex traders out there, let's talk about hmm, the Australian dollar. Why? Well, because they have a rate announcement happening this week, and it could be a big one. As you can see here right now, it says 4.35. I'm hearing a lot of mixed expectations on rates this week, particularly because of what happened with the United States last week. I do anticipate them dropping 25 basis points down to 4.1. However, right now the expectations are they're gonna stay the same at 4.35, and that's gonna happen Tuesday, just after the stroke of midnight Eastern time at 12.30. But wait, there's more. We have one more bank to talk about. Oh, that's right. The Swiss National Bank will be making an announcement as well. Right now they are at one and a quarter expectations are they're going to stay at one and a quarter i believe that both of these countries will drop by 25 basis points swiss national bank doing so on thursday at 3 30 a.m eastern time one of the reasons this becomes so relevant is because both of them have already been cutting united states just did a drastic move with 50 basis points and that may further escalate this race to zero that we might be on yet again getting back to low rates which could stimulate that economy even more like we saw last week all right, let's move on to some U.S. pieces. Of course, Jerome Powell cited GDP. That number will be coming out as well. So let's take a look at our GDP data. Thursday at 8.30 a.m. Eastern Time, we get that U.S. final GDP number. Right now, expectations are we're going to come out at 3. Now, what you see here on your screen at the hard red edge says 1.4. Don't worry about that number. It's the annualized rate, which takes the last four bars and combines those, therefore giving us the total rate of GDP for the year. Now, Expectations are right now that there can be no change. We'll say right around 3%, although the forecast Jerome Powell gave at the press conference does sound like they're expecting it to drop just a little bit. And again, inflation is on the table. This is the big one. The core PCE price index happening Friday at 8.30 a.m. Eastern time. Expectations are we're going to stay right at that point two that you see over there on the hard right edge and stay right where we are at, which would be a good sign. Obviously, we would like to see that inflation number drop a little bit lower, but... The CPI number right now, 2.5% year over year. Core PCE, that gets down a little bit lower, maybe gets that 2.5, 2.4, make these markets very happy and give the Fed even further ammunition to potentially lower rates going forward. So a lot of stuff happening this week. A lot of central banks with Australia and the Swiss National Bank. You have international data with sales and manufacturing numbers. Could be a pretty exciting week. Maybe not as exciting as last week. That, my friends, is your Monday Morning Must Knows. We'll see you next week. <music>